Uh, there's the first one. Stephen asks, why can't I ask questions about people having sex on film? What is your take on it? Why can't you ask questions about people having sex on film? I don't understand. I don't understand it. What is my take on people having sex on film? Well, I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean um, actual pornography, where people literally have sex on film and it's shown to us in graphic detail? Or do you mean people simulating sex on film where they go through the motions uh, of having sex? So they might be naked, but there's, there's no literal penetration. There's no actual sex. They're just uh, doing uh, as if. Uh, it really depends. Uh, look, I, I, um, I find it hard to imagine what kind of psychology one would have to want to be in a porn movie. Um, that is to be an actor or an actress in a porn movie. Is it possible to have any kind of um, healthy psychological framework? Uh, I once heard Leonard Peikoff say that uh, you know, there's certain people who psychologically uh, are, um, uh, what's, the, what's the term? Um, God, people who like to, uh, to be watched, people who like to show themselves. Um, so it's possible that you would have people who, who want to perform on, on film. I don't think watching porn is immoral or wrong or destructive? I, I actually think it can be quite educational if taken in the right, with the right perspective. Uh, you can learn something from porn. They do stuff there that in regular life you might not encounter and you might not consider. And once you see it, you go, hmm, maybe. Maybe that would be fun. And it turns out that sometimes it is fun. And maybe you should have thought of it. And, you know, so I, I actually think you can, particularly in a repressed society, in a society where we don't talk about porn, uh, sorry, when we don't talk about sex, when we don't talk about sexual positions, when we don't talk about what gives one pleasure and what doesn't give one pleasure and how to work through that, I, I think porn can be educational. And where parents don't talk about it with their kids and where kids don't, you know, uh, uh, it's... It, you know, I think there's value there. Uh, now, some of it is over the top. Some of it is pretty disgusting. Some of it is horrible. Some of it is, you know, uh, downright evil. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't think that watching porn makes you a bad human being, uh, particularly if, um, if you don't overconsume it, if it's not, if you're not, uh, uh, if you're not in a sense... Um, using it as an excuse not to engage in sex itself, when you're using it as an excuse not to pursue sex, then it's horrible. Then it's horrible, right? So uh, as long as you're not uh, using it to, uh, I think Lana Peikoff says, uh, evade or escape reality. I think being in porn is questionable. Uh, you know, somebody said it's an, ex the word I was looking for, exhibitionist. They might always be exhibitionists who want to do that, who out of their own free will uh, participate in uh, pornography, fine, right? I don't think it's the big problem uh, of the world. I, this is one area where I disagree with Yoram Chazoni on. Uh, I, I don't think it is destroying the world. But wait a minute, Yoram, what about the motivation on the guy's part to have sex with hot girls? I don't understand the question. Um, so I don't know what exactly you're asking, I, um, uh, Stephen. Uh, I don't know why, why you say you can't ask questions about people having sex in film. Was that a YouTube thing? Was that a me thing? Who is not letting you ask the question? Um, now, if, if it's in a, a mainstream movie, absolutely. I think the, the, the many uh, uh, contexts in which sex is beautifully done on film, um, I, I think it's, it's often an integral part of the story. Why not? Um, you know, Ayn Rand was a pioneer uh, in depicting sex in novels and, and, talk, and, and, you know, depicting sex scenes in a novel. Remember, and Atlas Shrugged was published in 57. Fountainhead was published in 45. This was not typical of novels back then. 
Um, and I, I think sex should be depicted in films where it makes sense, not in a gratuitous way, not just to get as clickbait, but uh, where it actually, uh, you know, makes sense to, um, um, to, to depict sex in it, to, where, where there's a romance and, and the sex is, is meaningful from an aesthetic perspective. I have no problem with erotic art, uh, with paintings depicting sexual acts or with sculpture depicting sexual acts. I actually think... Uh, they can be quite beautiful. Uh, it is a, an important, um, beautiful, amazing part of human life. Uh, and it should be part of the array of human experiences that artists portray. And I, and I think it's I think it's super prudish. And, uh, and, and, and super repressed uh, for it not to be, uh, you know, for, for serious artists not to be willing to explore sexuality as a topic for the art. And I think that's true in cinema as much as it's true in any form of art. All right, you probably got more than you wanted on that question. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.